the fallen angel. Alright guys, first and foremost, happy Halloween to all you guys. It is October, it's time for all the festivities to begin as far as that goes. Today we have the 5x52 Robusto sized Fallen Angel by AJ Fernandez, the creator of the Diesel Cigars or the Blender. Um, I am really excited about the sticks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have on cigar.com and I'm going to read you guys a description about it. So it's probably going to be a little bit longer review, probably a little bit of rambling. So if you want to skip this part, go ahead and fast forward it now. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get to it. So here's what it says This is a season, I, this might be seasonal, I'm not sure, but it's new in at cigar.com, I believe. So. Let's get to it. Fallen Angel, your new guilty pleasure has arrived. Yes, it has. <clears throat> Fallen Angel cigars are not for the weak. It's like they say, it's better to laugh with the sinners than cry with the saints. In conjunction with A.J. Fernandez, Fallen Angel cigars have crafted the epitome of guilty pleasure boutique cigar. One looks at this dark, oily beauty, and it will be easy to give yourself into temptation and feast on this rich, full-bodied collection of premium tobaccos. For this gem, A.J. Fernandez has a crop of incredibly rare 7th Cut Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. What's 7th Cut, you ask? The 7th Cut is one of the last primings to be removed from the plant and thus packs an incredible amount of flavor and strength. Right on. Nestled beneath this premium wrapper is a hearty Mexican binder that encompasses potent yet well-aged Nicaraguan fillers from Esteli, Condegna, Condega, and Ometepe. Alright, I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are just as enthusiastic about this as I am. I got the sun coming right down on me. I might scoot back a little bit, but that's, uh, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm excited about this. Slightly oily wrap. Very soft, wonderful box press. It's not a sharp box press, but it is a box press. Uh, it's a very nice single cap on there. No, double cap, very generous. Completely invisible seams, minimal veins. Comes in with a nice sweet hay aroma. Absolutely fantastic. All right, let's go on ahead and get this chopped up. And uh, I'm gonna try to light it with a match. If not, I got my trusty lighter with me, so yeah. Effortless. Ooh, all right. Right off the light, what I instantly got. Man, I got like a sweet chocolate instantly on the draw and it immediately went away. That's into a nice, somewhat damp, sweet earth and tobacco flavor. Very, very nice. A little bit of a spice, just a little bit. Maybe a little bit of leather too, just a little bit. All right, not bad. Let's let it uh, let her warm up and dive into this first third, feet first. All right, plenty of smoke as you can see. Perfect draw just the right amount of resistance. Absolutely amazing. This is a very nice, thick Maduro wrapper on here. Take a look at that. Very, very nice. 
burning <laughs> basically a razor sharp burn. No issues, uh, as to be expected. Um, flavor on the draw, it's just a, it's still that little bit of a damp earth. The sweetness has come down a little bit. You got wood in there, and you get a black pepper flavor. And the earth and the the earth and the black pepper flavor stick in through the finish. And ultimately, you're left with that black pepper flavor right about now. Then notice after about between 30 and 45 seconds after the draw, you get a little bit of a little bit of a tingle, a little bit of a pepper zing after that. So that's kind of cool. I'm liking it. All right, let's get down to about uh, let's get down to the second third or the halfway point. See if we get any any more wonderful changes. All right. I think we're wait 27, 30, so 30 minutes in now. About an inch and a half down. Good burn time. It's going way too fast for my liking because this is really good. Uh, just after the last update. A nice deep espresso started to come in and the pepper, the black pepper flavor started to drop and decline and now it's mostly just that nice deep espresso and now a little bit of a darker earth flavor, maybe bolder earth flavor is uh, coming to the front now. There's a little bit of a spice in the draw. It's really potent going in the mouth. Not a bad potent, but it's just like a woof. Uh, it's very, very good. Uh, very thick smoke. Uh, <clears throat> Man, I don't know. No complaints. Construction's flawless. Completely flawless. Uh, I'm going to see how long this ash will stay on before it goes on my lap, but I could not be happier with this. So let's get on ahead and get towards the hour mark unless we get some more changes and uh, see what else we get. The woodiness has also dropped down. That dropped down shortly after with the pepper as well. So now it's basically just the, the earth and the, uh, and the, uh, the espresso. All right, 50 minutes in now. So far the flavors are still that nice deep espresso still hanging in there. A little bit of spice in the draw, just a little bit. A nice nut has came in now. A little bit of a sweeter nut and a sweeter coffee with those espresso undertones. Very, very robust and nice. I'm gonna go on ahead and take the band off now. Very, very nice. Just a little splotch of glue right there. Go ahead and take that off. Really cool band. Really cool. So far, the burn's good. I haven't even had to think about a touch up. Construction's flawless. So far, so good. Let's get on down to the nub and see if we get any final transitions in this wonderful stick. All right, here we are, one hour, 10 minutes in, flawless construction, ash has held on since uh, the last time it ashed for about an inch and a half, two inches at a time, perfect. Flavors, just about the same now, that nuttiness has came up, and the, uh, the espresso's there, that little bit of sweetness to the coffee's gone. It's gone finally too hot for my liking, I've smoked it down to the nub. Excellent cigar, 10 out of 10 in all aspects. Absolutely wonderful. Try to get one of these. I don't know if they're seasonal. I have a feeling they are, but who knows? I'll put a link down in the description where you guys can uh, get some. And yeah, very, very good. Very high quality. Can't say enough good things about it. So pick one of these up. Give it a try. You won't be disappointed. You definitely won't be disappointed. A plus construction. Fabulous. Uh, yeah, as always, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, until next time, we'll see you soon.